Dealing with grief is difficult at any age, but it may be especially challenging if you are a child. So a local author decided to write a children's book about grief called The Shared Room. Here's our conversation with Kao Kalia Yang. Kao Kalia Yang, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. I wanna just get to the heart of this right away. What is this book? What is it all about? This book is called The Shared Room. It is my second children's book, and it came forth because a little girl uh, passed away three years ago in a drowning. She had wanted to be a writer, and she wanted to be this writer. And so when she died, I was devastated. Um, I witnessed the grieving of her family, and I noticed how quiet everybody was around the topic and around the, her life. And so with the permission of her mom and her dad and her family, I wanted to write a book for her brothers and sisters. Children lose children all the time, but in the world of children's books, um, it is a topic that very few authors have ventured into. It seems like such an important topic. It's almost surprising that it's been overlooked. Uh, why did you feel it was so important to recognize the grief that children especially feel? Especially in these times, I think we have to be able to explain grief. We have to be able to walk across streets, inside of doors, into families. You know, grief is such a difficult and challenging topic. So often we want to talk to kids about joy and celebrations. It is harder to celebrate the ending of a life. And so I think very few authors have the ability to walk that tender line. The book itself focuses, as you mentioned, on one family. Can you just share a little bit about what that family experienced? Three years ago, on the first hot day of summer, a little girl named Jenna, six years old, and her family went to Lake Elmo. The little girl walked into the, into the pool. She went too far and she drowned. Um, her mom and dad were good friends of mine. They would come to my readings. And so I've met her several times, a beautiful little girl. She left behind a mom and a dad who missed her terribly and brothers and sisters trying to make sense of their feelings, their big feelings. Such huge and difficult feelings to process really for anyone, but especially children. So what was your specific messaging in this book? How did you reach out to kids and try to make them process and understand more what they were experiencing? You know, with my first book, A Map Into the World, we talked about an elderly neighbor and the passing of his wife, and I visited many schools. And at every single school I visited, when it was time for the Q&A, all of the children wanted to share all of the loss they've experienced. And it wasn't just the loss of pets, loss of family, the loss of grandparents, the loss of siblings. And I realized there's so much hurt here, so much healing that needs to happen we need to have a way of talking about these big things that happen to our youngest children. So Kalia, thank you so much, not only for your time today, but also for this book and adding to this really important conversation on behalf of the children in our community. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. And that book's so important. You can find out more information about it on our website, care11.com. Meantime, look at this gorgeous look.